Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're watching this on Instagram, hit that follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Here is another beginner friendly poly gel set. This is my third set. So I appreciate all the love and support and thank you guys so much for watching. First things first, you want to make sure you push your cuticles all the way down and then you take a cuticle cutter to trim away all that excess skin because you want the best application you can get. And then you use your hand file and you file down the surface and the edge of your nail. You can trim your nails if you like. And this. Then I also take my e-file to furthermore smooth out the surface of my nail. Then I'll take this bit here and go around my cuticles to get away all that excess dead skin. I forgot what this bit is called, but it's a little bit rounded and it's good to get away with that excess dead skin from your cuticles. Then there's a skinnier bit you can use to get up underneath the cuticles and just get all that dead skin. Then you brush away that dust layer and you take you some slip solution or alcohol and just wipe away that dust from your nails using a paper towel or a lint free wipe if you have one. And now you're going to prep your nails so you're going to use your nail dehydrator, a thin coat and let it air dry. And I got these gloves online, it's supposed to protect your hands from the UV rays but I have an LED light but still you know. So once that's dry, you go in with your nail primer and you use another thin coat of that and you let that air dry as well. Now you take your base coat and apply a thin coat of that, cap the nail and you let that cure for 60 seconds. And I almost didn't post this tutorial but I post the pictures on my page and a few people said they would like to see the tutorial so here you are then you just take some slip solution or some alcohol to wipe away that sticky layer and I got some smaller nail forms well not smaller but shorter nail forms because I don't want my nails this long this time and this yellow I thought that it was going to be like more of a neon yellow because that's what it said online but it's really light and I didn't really care for it which is why I didn't do all my nails this color because I was going to do all of my nails yellow and then I was going to have one blue nail but I didn't like the way this yellow looked so that is why I only did one and then my son's favorite color is yellow so he begged me to do yellow but anyway I'm just taking the slip solution and I'm smoothing out the poly gel and you want to make sure you have the poly gel against the side walls otherwise when you cure it you're gonna have a half a nail so you always want to turn it over to look at it to so make sure you got it all the way to the side walls then you take the soap solution to clear away the edges I use the clip to make sure that it doesn't come off and then make sure you smooth out that back side so learn something new because the last couple times I did my poly gel nails they were breaking so I found out that I wasn't cured them long enough so I cure for 90 seconds now and I've had my nails going on for two weeks now and they're all still here I haven't broken yet so now I'm just gonna file and shape my nail the way that I want it because I don't want it too long and then I'm gonna apply another coat of the poly gel and cure for another 90 seconds just to make sure that my nail is really strong and make sure you brush off that dust layer before you go in with some more poly gel otherwise it's going to be ugly and you're going to have bubbles
you also make sure you cure both sides for the equal amount of time so I cure the top side for 90 seconds and cure the back side for 90 seconds so this clear poly gel is so thick and I have a hard time working with it so I'm just applying some of it into the nail and then I'm going to apply some glitter Like it's just super thick. So now I'm just gonna put some of this loose glitter inside these little butterflies using the same brush, and you can just use your sub solution to clean it off. And I'm going to apply some blue glitter on the top of that. It's a blue poly gel. But it's a glitter blue. Then you just clean up the sides. And I use the clip to make sure it stays in place and you smooth out the back and cure each side for 90 seconds. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to apply another coat of poly gel on the top of my nail and I'm going to cure that for another 90 seconds. And I have crickets in the background. Those are for my lizards. So they just started chirping right now. Sorry about that. I'm doing the same thing with this now. Instead of me using the clear poly gel, I'm going to use the blue. And then I'm going to apply some glitter and then I'm going to put this pinkish color glitter on top of it. This is the finger that made me want to throw this whole video away because I made this 3D flower and I really wanted to put it inside of the nail and encapsulate it instead of having it on the outside of the nail. But I think maybe it was too thick because when I put the 3D flower in and I cured it and then I applied more gel poly gel on top of it and put it on my nail and cured it again, I think maybe I shouldn't have cured it before putting the 3D flower on. 
or it just needs to go on the outside because it kept sliding off of my finger then when I cured it it was like I had uh, half of the poly gel was missing so I had to add some more poly gel to the top half of my nail and it was just this disaster and I just was like kept trying to fix it and I didn't like the way it looks so I was like oh I have all these missing spaces right here let me add some glitter to try to correct where I messed up and I just was over it at this point and fed up why I actually stopped recording here because as you can see I was struggling to get it on and I just was like I don't know what to do but anyway I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video I promise you the next one will be better than this and I'll also do an updated removal video thanks for all the love and support thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time I'll see you in the next one bye